The hot new trend in the auto industry is slimming down your vehicle lineups. And as automakers try to trim every little piece of unnecessary fat, the options for customers who want something other than a crossover are growing ever more thin. At Mercedes-Benz, for example, building two-door versions of the E-Class and C-Class didn't make a lot of sense. C-Class customers always wanted something roomier and E-Class customers wanted something sportier. The company's answer is this, the 2024 CLE. And according to Mercedes-Benz, it will be the best of both worlds. Before we show you how Mercedes is gonna bridge the gap between the C and the E-Class with the CLE, be sure to like and subscribe to the MotorOne.com YouTube channel, as well as our social media channels on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and wherever else you go for the latest car news. It'll help us make a lot more videos like this. Now, on to the action. Mercedes isn't selling an all-electric CLE or even a plug-in hybrid right now, but both members of the two-engine lineup benefit from the company's EQ Boost technology, which uses a 48-volt mild hybrid system to power a compressor attached to the turbocharger. The tech essentially quashes turbo lag. As for the gas engines themselves, the CLE 300's turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder mirrors the C300 with 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The top dog, for now, CLE 450 packs a turbocharged 3-liter straight six with 375 ponies and 369 pound-feet. But both cars max out at 130 miles per hour, while their mild hybrid systems provide up to 148 pound-feet of assistance. All-wheel drive is standard across the range in North America, while every CLE carries a 9-speed automatic. And on the AMG front, well, there's not much to share. Mercedes wouldn't comment on the AMGification of its newest model, but the previous C-Class Coupe was available as a C43 and C63, while the E-Class's E53 was the range chopper. We'd count on one sooner rather than later. The CLE might be the marriage of the C-Class and E-Class, but its footprint is virtually identical to the larger of its two predecessors. The front overhang is 1.5 inches longer than the E-Class Coupe, but beyond that, it's less than an inch larger in every dimension. Oh, and it's dramatically prettier. The E-Class Coupe was always a bit of an odd duck in the lineup, but the proportions here are cleaner and more attractive. The fastback design, handsome taillights, and clean body sides are a delight and are reminiscent to my eye to the C-Class Coupe. The bad news is that huge quarter window doesn't roll down. Mercedes said C-Class customers wanted more space and the company is delivering. The CLE essentially splits the difference between the C-Class and E-Class Coupes. For example, there's 2.2 inches more legroom in the CLE's second row compared to the C-Class, but 1.7 inches less than the E-Class. As for the design, well, I hope you like the C-Class. The dash, switchgear, and infotainment are all virtually identical from the redesigned C-Class to the CLE. That's a okay. Material quality is decent, and the tech is still better than the iDrive 8 system in the BMW 4 Series. Mercedes-Benz isn't releasing pricing or fuel economy information yet, and with an on-sale date of early 2024, that makes a lot of sense. Be sure to check out MotorOne.com, where we'll have all the latest on this very pretty new coupe.